Okay, here we have a figure that's showing the probability distribution of a discrete random variable X. And it shows that the cursor is on the histogram bar represented value of six. So that's what this dot is. Now I went ahead and already labeled um the you know the the intervals because if you look at this, you know, bottom right here, it's kind of hard to see. Um if you have this problem in your textbook, you'll see down the bottom left that it says minimum six, maximum is less than seven. That means this is going from seven to six. So then I know that's six. Five, four, three, two, one. And it makes sense, you know, because obviously you're going to start at zero. And then we're essentially trying to figure out which of these best describes this random variable that's going on here. Okay, so we first have to figure out if it's going to be binomial or geometric. Now, we can say it's not geometric right off the bat because the geometric distribution follows a shape that basically is decreasing. Its most common value will be one. It's not saying that one is gonna be like high, it's gonna be like that the probability will be one is like 0.9. It could be very low, it could be like 0.1. It's just saying that the probability of you know it being two, three, four, five, and so forth is always gonna be less than a success on the first trial. So we know it's not gonna be this, all geometric distributions follow this sort of shape. Now we have to decide what type of binomial distribution it is now. So we have, you know, all of these with the same number, you know, same number of trials and is eight, the probabilities are different now. So what we can essentially, you know, figure out from here is what the mean, you know, of this distribution is. The mean of binomial random variable will be n times p. Now, the reason that we want to calculate the mean is because the mean of the distribution of the binomial random variable will be right in about the middle somewhere. It's not, it's not always saying that a, a binomial random distribution will be symmetric, but the mean will be somewhere around the middle, like the median, not in like the middle of the distribution. So the mean of this or the middle, you can say, is like it's it's probably going to be in here somewhere, somewhere from two to three, two to three. And again, um, since this is a multiple choice question, you're not going to get questions on your AP exam where it's going to be like super close and that your answer will be wrong just because of a little tedious miscalculation or something. And there'll be clear differences in the answers. Okay, so. We take the mean of each of these. The first one would have a mean of eight times 0 .8, 0 0.1, so let's be 0 0.8. The mean here will be eight times 0 0.3 or 2.4. And the mean here will be eight times 0 0.8 or 6.4. Now let's see again, see how it's clear that there's, you know, an, a, an, a, a difference that's, you know, not gonna be, you know, miscalculated. Uh, you know, it's because you, know, you, you don't know your algebra. Now the answer is, so we can see it's gonna be 2.4, but 2.4 is somewhere in here. It's not 0 0.8, 0 0.8 is way gonna be over here. And 6.4 will be way over here. So the answer will then be B.